what's up? Welcome to another video. Today, if you didn't see the title, we are doing da -da 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 -da, the top 10 best games on Android that are on Android. Alright! First one. Get on it. So, this is going to go number one to number ten. So. Oh, I don't know. Of course, it is going to be. Minecraft. This loads. I Minecraft. If you never heard of this, <laughs> Minecraft is a game where you can basically do whatever you want, but you can play in in this difficulty called survival. And you could try to complete the game and defeat the 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 end boss, the Ender Dragon. And it's not really the tech. It's not technically. It's technically the end of the game, but it's really not because you still have to. Because you can still fight the Wither. I mean, you could do that before the Ender Dragon, but you know, but whatever. It's like. Even when you beat the game, you can still keep going on forever. There's also this game mode called Creative Mode. Um, you can just do whatever you want, and you can get stuff from your inventory and just place whatever you want. There's cheats and command blocks, which which can make you change, control other people and edit and and like change the actual Minecraft world. Next would be, of course, Roblox on number two. Roblox is a game where people create games and and you can and you and other people play the games and you can play with other people on other games and chat and and they can friend request you you can friend request them and you can get friends and they could follow you just like twitter or facebook or whatever snapchat instagram thing yeah and yeah and they can join you and you you, you can buy you can buy stuff and get and get this thing called Robux, which is like an in-game money, like Rebox. And you can buy stuff with it and and get cool games with it. It doesn't have an end; it's just endless. So moving on to the next one. Yeah, Talking Tom Gold Run. really cool game um you can do really cool stuff like um well so um it's basically like temple one and nin and that ninja runner game except you build stuff and it increases your multiplier which makes your score go up with your score go up faster and faster and faster and you can collect gold and get power ups and stuff and and you have to try to defeat the robber there's a new thing where you can where, where he's like a boss i don't know if you can actually defeat him my my record is 536,000 so yeah moving on to the next one this game is called um Geometry Dash, not Geometry Dash Light, but the actual Geometry Dash. Like, uh, 
they have it. Hold on. They delete the actual game. So that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, Geometry Dash. This is the real game. Um, you have so that basically again this is number four on the list. So you this little guy and you try to beat the levels. Um you can also make levels your own custom levels and play other people's levels that they made. Yeah. There's a practice mode where there's checkpoints Oh, and there's the level editor. And there's a mode where there's no checkpoints. Alright, moving on to number five. Of course, it's Granny. This game is really cool, really scary, and really frustrating. There's this, there's this old person named Granny. She's crazy. And... You get into a car accident, and you go into a house for some reason. Then she locks the doors, and you have all these crazy locks. You can see here. But in hard and extreme mode, there's, like, more locks. And there's an option where, yeah, where, like, there's extra locks, too. Yeah, Granny also hits you with her baseball bat if she gets close enough to you. And she hears everything. So basically, it's a, like a big puzzle when you have to find stuff. And you have to, and one thing unlocks another thing. And there's a shotgun, which you can use to kill Granny for a, for a few sec, for a time period, depending on what mode you're on. There's also a close spawn, a sonar, which do the same exact thing. In a newer update, there's a car, but you can't drive it. Yeah, and that's where the shotgun and the sauna was added, or whatever it's called. Okay, next one, I don't know if I could find it straight from here, but Baldi's Basics. Oh, yeah, I can. I can find it right here. I think this is the real one. Yep. Yeah. Of course it costs money, but... This makes number six on the list because it's basically like the computer one, but it, the controls are weird. It, it just looks weirder. So that's why it's only number six. Um, yeah, so in this game, your friend left his notebooks at school and you come to get them. Then there's this crazy guy named Baldy. And and then you solve notebooks, and then the second notebook, the last, oh yeah, and, and he gives you questions to answer, but but the third, but for the second notebook, the last question, it's all messed up, and you have to get it wrong, and then Baldy gets mad, and he starts slapping his ruler, and you have to get all seven notebooks and escape, and there's all these other characters like Playtime, gotta sweep, 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 bully. Um, the principal of the thing, and the, this, they all do different stuff, and each one of them is annoying in their own kind. There's also this guy named First Prize and Arts and Crafters. Now I'm making seven on this list. Slenderina. I've never played this, but it's made by the people from Granny, that made Granny. And Granny's good, and I've seen YouTubers play it, and and it looks and it seems good. So the reason it's number seven is because I don't know if it's one hundred. Well, I mean it's good, but never mind. So um, basically in this game, you have to find stuff, just like. Almost like Baldi's basic, you have to find stuff and you have to escape and get away from all the monsters, including Slenderina. All right, number eight on this list. Oh, what happened? Number eight on this list. It's called Baseball Nine. Um, so basically, the reason um, I chose this is because it's addictive. And it's fun, and it has good graphics. 
Oh yeah, and if you have um comments, um if you reply, if you if you comment on the game, they always reply back every single time. Yeah. And yeah, that's why it's number eight on this list. Going to number nine. Upgrade the game too. Well, it's obviously when you upgrade the game, you upgrade the game. I mean, it's definitely fun first, but but like a quarter of the way through the game, stuff get, starts getting really expensive and the levels get way too hard, and it just gets boring. So, yeah. Moving on to the final one for this video, number 10. What's happening? This um, is called Hexaria. Now, it's really fun. And, yeah, but could have a little bit more to it. Right now, it's just basically this. So, they could add more to it, but... The reason it's number 10 is because it's fun. Very fun. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. And after, right after this video, I'm going to make um, a top 10 worst games. And um, yeah. Bye, hope you check that out.